So away we go in this Champions Cup preliminary round and an early touch for Laudrup to McCoyst. McCall, who's been in splendid form, sends it wide to Alberts. McCall again. This is Bjorklund. Well, the Russians have still to win a game at European level. The newcomers to this, but uh, having won the Russian League, Rangers know, having watched them several times recently, Archie Knox, Walter Smith's assistant, was out there, so too was Ewan Chester, who also assists Walter Smith in spying in the opposition. And they've come back with glowing reports on this side, who ran Liverpool so close last season. They've actually lost the two home games so far in uh, European competition, but they've managed to draw away to Borussia Dortmund and at Anfield. So the pedigree is there. This is Tetradze, who will sweep, and he's caught there almost by McCoy. This is Goff. Petrich. Waldrop comes deep. They get through now, looking for Cleland, who's gone off on a good run. The early cross from him, McCoyce! What a chance for Rangers and Ali McCoyce. A great spring forward by Alec Cleland. He was well spotted by Waldrop. The early cross coming in, and what a chance. Well, it was all sealed again by Waldrop. Cleland makes a great run, but it's a tremendous cross. And McCoy so, scored so many headers last season, we were starting to get worried about him. He really, he probably has more, more time than he thinks. It's a tremendous cross. Great chance for him to break the record. He's just got too much on it. Here come Alania. Janowski plays it through. With a real chance on here. And Andy Gorham claws it away from Agayev. Well, this man has brought off so many important saves for Rangers down through the years, but uh, a timely warning there. Janowski playing the ball through. Goff was easily beaten and Gorham was there. Yeah, he certainly did again. Nearly broken numbers, a 4 through the central roll. A clumsy mistake by Rangers in the midfield area, and they pounced on it. He just can't afford to give them that chance. Stretch right across the back at the moment, including McCall, who's been charging forward and completely missed that one. Agaev comes in again, who's already brought out a good save from Andy Gorham. Ranger and again, we're under pressure. It's a revish, really. Agaev, off. Comes in this time to make the clearance out towards Jury. Jury gets away thanks to the slip there by Connie Enko. And a free kick is awarded. And Kazimov is shown the yellow card. So Richard Goff starts to move forward for the set piece. So two does Gordon Petrich. Well, Petrich has changed his mind. Well, he's back and forward there. And you can just see the indecision, which is affecting Rangers play. And uh, Lauder loses out. And there's no free kick and the break's on here. It's Kazimov. This is Tedeyev. Getting away from Cleland with ease, cutting it back, and it's 1 0. And that's a Yanovsky, he simply puts it away with 28 minutes gone. And you've got to say that goal's been coming today. I've just stepped away from Cleland, cut it back nice as you like, and Yanovsky drilled it beyond Gorham right into the corner. Rangers nil, 
Alania won, and we're seeing the rerun of an old story here at Ibrook Stadium. Yeah, well, I've got to, I've got to be honest and say it's well deserved. Alania have been well in top, they've been the team with a stronger mentality, better passing ability. Rangers have had no flow to their, their game whatsoever. They've made basic mistakes at the back and in midfield. And they've, they've been punished for a deserved lead for the Alania team. This is Cleland. Well, Rangers made a cautious start to the match, which was the right thing to do, but really, Alania have yeah. more and more into it, and uh, that certainly is a deserved lead. And as their coach, uh, Valery Gazayev, will be an extremely happy man. It's certainly right to say that they started cautiously, but it's been square passes they've been playing at the back, you know, they at least play a diagonal pass and get the movement and get the flow. As yet, they've had absolutely no flow to the play other than they've had an odd glimpse of Loudrop. But other than that, the Russians have looked totally in control of the game. This is Petrich. Through for Cleland. Alberts is well forward. Here's McCoyst, but uh, no power in that at all. Don't worry, the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a decent cross again from Cleland. Bit high, maybe. Decent head down. I think probably better try to take that down, McCoyst, rather than an overhead kick. But uh, I think he'll just be happy to get a shot on target. Which will buy Cleland. The crowd say. This is Pagayev. Spread out now towards Jury. It's quickly closed down by Bonienko. Rangers ball. Well, that was really given a warning by the referee, the German referee. This is Albert. Jotland. Jotland again. Lania dealing comfortably with the situation. Breaks from a coist. You see how quickly though the Alania players are closing down their opponents. Rangers not getting a chance at all to settle on the ball. Slip one there though. Here's Loudrop. McCoyst. Jury tries to get it forward. Well McCoy's coming so close there. And the Rangers have the free kick. It was, it was actually made, battling, broke to McCoy's. Yeah, it was made by the, the, the McInnes pass. He made a 15-20 yard into the feet of Loudrop, and suddenly he gave him a problem. Still the Russian champions lead by a goal to nil. Maybe there's a chance here though for McCoy's, but once again. Melania stand from Tepradze, slamming the ball behind for the corner kick. Once again, Goff and uh, Petric are forward. Goff still up there! And it's well taken by the goalkeeper. Through by Ayagev. Here's the goal scorer, Janowski. Once again, Melania pass it about with confidence. It's a possession game for them. They're in the driving seat. And they're causing Rangers more and more frustration. 
free kick is awarded. And uh, still the wait to make the substitution. And all played through effectively. But uh, the Lingsman's flag is up, it's just out of play. for Rangers to Alberts. And certainly the Russians who have played some 18 19 league games looking a lot sharper, but here's Alberts through now for Gordon Jury. Still it's Jury trying to get in the cross. Well, that draws applause from the home crowd. And now the the Russians want to make that change. So three minutes of this first half left, plus uh, any stoppage time. Here's Jayev, captain once again. Bit of a misunderstanding there, though. Uh, it allows uh, Petric to clear. Wojdrup gets a nice touch, but again, there are two players on him. He responds brilliantly, though. McCoyce is in the middle. Jury's arriving. Here's McCoyce, and once again... The goalkeeper makes the save. Well, Rangers really should have taken some of these chances. The choice of an early header over the crossbar. And this one allowed the keeper to save. So there's uh, Valery Gazayev. Lighting up. And we're now into stoppage time. He certainly looks a very confident character. And uh, this team certainly displayed a lot of confidence just before kickoff. They came out for their warm up, just went and stood about in the tunnel. The referee had to check the boots there. There was no way they were going back to the dressing room. They were really up for it, and they proved that in this first half. They've given Rangers a hard time, and if it hadn't been for Andy Gorham, there might be another couple. In the back of the Rangers net. Having said that, Dali McCoy should certainly have tucked away a chance. This is McInnes, the Rangers substitute Goffs forward again. Well, it was Goff who put Rangers back into the game against Dortmund here last year in the Champions League. He's virtually pushed himself into a forward role in these closing stages. They've played over a minute of stoppage time in this first half. one from Petric. And easily tidied up uh, by Botsev, the substitute for Alania. <laughs> so, as we approach half-time, the Russians calm and in possession. Again, showing pace in the flanks, showing skill as well. The whistle sounds, Walter Smith has a lot of talking to do during the interval. There's a man, Igor Yanovsky, who scored after 29 minutes to give the Russians a lead. Hybrid Stadium, it's Rangers nil, Alania 1. They've got to get their noses in front tonight. They're always going to be chasing this tie, both here and in the return. And what uh, is shaping is a trip to hell in a fortnight's time, Charlie. Oh, that's certainly right. They have to try and at least get a victory. They've lost the goal, it's gone. I agree with Charlie soon as back in the studio there. I think the only permutation I would maybe change is McCall is more of the ball winner than McInnes. I would maybe push McCall a bit further than McInnes and let him try and dictate passing. And I think if they do that, they might just be able to bite at the Russians a little bit more. So uh, he's giving Graham Shunas his uh, nickname there, Charlie, from, from years ago. 
But uh, Rangers under pressure right away here. Russian confidence is high. This is a team that got, a better, uh, got the better of the Moscow clubs to win the championship. The better of Spartak and Lokomotiv. They beat them by six points. And uh, the first side from outside the capital to win the relatively new Russian league. So they have a real pedigree, but uh, can Rangers apply some pressure here? Through from McCoy, who's onside. The ball through from Jury. It's McCoy's, but once again, it's a weak finish. The chances are falling for McCoy's. Jury it was who played it through. He took a touch on it, but really not a test for the goalkeeper. Yeah, the suspicion's offside, but I think the defender did play him on. But this is a problem when you play one up front. Loudrop's got the free roll. McCoy's, you can guarantee McCoy's will still be there for the next chance, mind you, but it's quite a weak finish. Royston challenging, having to drop deep, but breaks away to Alberts. This is Loudrop, good touch by him, the return pass from McCoy's. This is better play by Rangers, McCoy's there. And a good save this time from uh, Kamarenko. Good build-up play by Rangers, McCoy's and Loudrop combining well. Jury was coming in as well. It was played through towards McCoy, and the goalkeeper handled this one well. Yeah, it was a great build-up again. Two nice passing movements. He's ever so unlucky, McCoy. He's stretching, you see, he's stretching for it. He does the right thing, he hits the target, which is the main priority. But the keeper stood his ground, and it's a great save. Well, the referee has been quite uh, lenient here. And uh, Flelland sends it through to McCoy. McInnes. Flelland. away by Boxier. Nice touch by Alberts, he runs on to the turn from McCall. Goff swell forward here, joining the attack. In comes Goff! And Rangers get the equaliser! McKinnis scores! Well, what a European debut for McKinnis. What a time for him to strike. Richard Goff had come in to attack this ball. Good play by Rangers. Goff come in to attack it. The goalkeeper went down. Broke away from the defender. And in came Derek McInnes. What a moment for him. It's a great cross from Alberts. Picks out Goff, who we mentioned in the first half, being the main danger. It was good technique by McInnes. He's just trying to hit the target and keep it down. And suddenly Rangers are right back in the match. He sees Goff, he sees determination to get there. Knocks in a good area. Always difficult to defend before the keeper's reacting to in the net. Tonight's attendance, 44,799. Big crowd here at Ibrox Stadium. by Cleland, this is Jury. Flipping it through. And McCoy at last. Ali McCoy for Rangers. 60 minutes gone and Ali McCoy creates a new European record for Rangers. Well, a frustrating night for him. Chance after chance. Seemed to be running away. Gordon Jury here, doing ever so well, stabbing it through. And the Ibrox goal king picks his spot, Rangers 2, Alania 1. And Ellie McCoy's with his 13th goal in European competition sets a new record. Yeah, it was good play from Jury, teasing the defender. McCoy's, his trademark, he runs across the face of the defender and gets a first touch on it. Sulemanov. Once again, uh, Joyev goes down. 
He's been very adept at that tonight, has the Alania skipper, but it's Rangers now. Through Loudrop, McCoy's ahead of him, Jury's there as well. Great skills by Loudrop. Terrific play by Brian Loudrop, and Rangers are on fire now. And the crowd really respond to the Danish international player. Yeah, it's, it's great skill. You've missed the run from the from McCoy. He made a decoy run, took the middle defender away. He's probably hoping to at least hit the target on that occasion. But great skill and again a, a major threat. Here they come again, Cleland, and he's body checked there by Pagayev. Well, he's already been in trouble with the referee, and the red card will surely be shown. Yeah, he's off. Pagayev is off. He quite blatantly body checked the Rangers player. The second yellow card, followed by the red. And he's off. It's a good ball through now for Loudrop. Clellan's running through the middle. Van Vossen's on the far side. Still it's Loudrop, that's a good cross, and the goalkeeper was really caught. And needed some help there from Kornienko. Excellent cross. Here comes another one. Oh, yes! Gordon Patrick scores for Rangers! 79 minutes gone, Rangers 3! Celebrations all around Ibrook Stadium. What a turnaround in this match. It was played short to McInnes. Excellent cross. There was Petrich. 3 1 to Rangers. Yep, Alania sleeping. Loudrop McInnes was sharp enough to go and get the ball off him. Simple enough goal. Alania just knows he can't handle the aerial power. Petrich and Goff in particular. Well, he's, he's booking Petrich for removing his jersey. Ibrooks at the moment erupting. Rangers coming from a goal down to 3 1 up. Goals from McInnes, McCoy's, and Patrick. There are 10 minutes left here. No. What do Rangers do here? Do they go in really for the kill? Do they try and keep things tight at the back now? It's a penalty. The referee is appointing to the penalty spot. Well, this is remarkable. No sooner have Rangers taken the lead, Andy Gorham come rushing out. Certainly made contact there. Penalty kick is awarded. He complains to the referee, but he certainly made contact with the player. It's Janowski who's uh, willing to take this one. The man who put Delaney ahead in the first half. Uh, can Andy Gorham do something special here? He's missed it! Janowski has sent the ball wide! Ibrox erupts again, what a let -off. For Andy Gorham and Rangers. Well, Gorham had dived the wrong way. It looked as if the ball was going into the corner of the net, but past the post. Rangers still have that precious two-goal lead. This is Van Vossen. Loudrop. Van Vossen calls for it again. Jury's in the middle. McInnes is arriving. Here's Van Vossen. And right at the goalkeeper. Rangers have had some chances in the second half. His ability allowed him again to easily go by defenders, and he should really score there. Well, I think uh, Walter Smith and Archie Knox would be quite happy to make their way trip 3 1 ahead. That's behind for the corner, the pressure's still on. There are three minutes left. A 
the moment if Rangers can get an away goal that negates Alanias but uh, another one here for the Russians and uh, it would make Rangers task so much harder for the end goes up there again and it falls beyond them all and then Petric wisely allows that one to run out of play There are just over two minutes left. Rangers three, Alania one here at Ibrook Stadium. Laid off by Van Boston. McInnes gives it away and then concedes the free kick. Well, it's the Rangers nerves that are jangling now. They've really turned this match around, but they don't want to throw things away in these closing stages. And the Russians show great skill and composure. And the skipper will all forward again. Try it. And you got him quite happy to see that. I think he'll take that for the next couple of minutes. Just a little bit of inexperience showing Denny McInnes in the midfield, just getting caught up again in the game. And he should just use his head and just pass it the areas that are going to give Rangers a bit of relief and a bit of tension can then be, then be eased once again it's Alania who have the free kick Walter Smith looks on anxiously we're inside the final minute of the match plus stoppage time come well at half time Rangers would certainly have settled for winning this tie 3-1 Charlie yeah most certainly I think we always felt that they, was, they were capable of scoring he just knew they had to raise the tempo of the game. They've done that in the second half, and they could easily have had six in the second half. 3 1, it could easily have gone to four, but uh, still, they must keep their concentration here. It's vital. It's closing stages. The offside flag is up meanwhile on the far side, so a bit of breathing space. Rangers may be the home side, but uh, it's all about discipline and concentration now. Second half performance is certainly the Rangers' best in recent seasons. Battling back after an indifferent first half in which the Russians are the better side. We're now into stoppage time. The whistle sounds! And Rangers go forward now with confidence to the second leg. We've got a goal down at half time. But they fought back through McInnes, then McCoy setting a new European record here at Ibrox. And Gordon Petric making the full time score. Rangers 3, Alania 1.